There we go. Let's. <gasps> okay. So, I started out, I picked two audio clips. The first one is William Jackson Harper acting in the role of Chidi Anagonye from The Good Place. There is no point to anything, and you're just gonna die. So do whatever. And now, I'm gonna eat my marshmallow candy chili in silence, and you all can jump up your own butts. The second one is Ali Sadiq. I don't know how to say his name because I have actually never heard anyone say it, so I'm gonna say that. He is a comedian, and he's being interviewed about his comedy special called It's Bigger Than These Bars. Right, every right, prison, right. every prison, didn't people, I didn't have to protect myself from nobody. I'm like, nah, man, it's, it's a, it's a misconception with, with a lot of things in prison. And so my special that comes out next Friday is basically addressing all those things. Both of these people sound black, and they are, so. Harper's vocabulary and word choice lack the, those prominent features of AAE. I feel like his voice and intonation kind of signify um, that he's a black person. Sadiq uses a lot of AAE, but there isn't as much bassiness. I can kind of hear it, but it's thrown off by this nasality that he speaks with. So because neither of the speakers sound completely black, stereotypically, uh, regardless of how much AE they're actually using, I was wondering if people would be able to uh, come to a conclusion as to whether or not they saw the speaker was black or not black. And then I had some people listen to that and then I asked them two questions. One, is this person black or not black? And two, why do you think that? I'm gonna eat all this chili and or die trying. Say that I, again. It started uh, so I, like I knew it was Cheaty. Okay, yes. The character Cheaty. Yes. From the Good Place. Yes. As soon as I heard um, the spins around when his tone started changing was what sort of did it for me. I think in in terms of just sound, I think um, uh, there's perhaps something about the tone that would still like lead me to believe that he was black. Mm -hmm. Definitely wasn't I guess what you would consider a uh, uh, traditional sort of black sound. sound. Black, yeah. yeah, I don't know, but there's just the way that people talk, and like the way that he talks. Like I don't know if this sounds weird, but he sounds black. Like how he pronounces his words, and you know, it just it's different. Yes, he sounds black. Yeah. Okay, how can he talk? Uh, for one, like when he was speaking, it kind of reminded me of how President Barack Obama oh. would speak during his speeches. Uh, he also had that jazzy tune that I mentioned and when he was saying like just and then he was like everything like kind of like swinging mm. in. Yeah. The emphasis on certain words and as emotion heightened the emphasis more on different parts of the words. It's I think I kind of pick up a little bit on like kind of a mid midwestern like drawl to the tone. Uh, the, the prosody and like punctuation um, where like that is I think characteristic of you know, like more of like a like an urban inspired like speech type. Yeah, I'm. I don't like oranges. I didn't never like oranges. New black. I didn't like the um. I didn't like Oz. My real answer would be equally both of these people. But if it were to go along cultural norms, what people think culturally, mm -hmm. it would probably most people would probably go with the second. Uh, well, uh, for starters, I think the tone. Um, the tone, I think, um, is fairly deep. Okay. I think that's mm -hmm. uh, that uh, the double negative mm -hmm. uh, is another thing, and it's also with uh, Spanish-speaking people too. Sometimes oh, I yeah. notice a lot of the G's are sort of cut off, like doing, happening, mm -hmm. uh, that kind of thing. Like functional verbs, like a habitual been, um, invariant be, um, that kind of thing, and I think that definitely um, that definitely gives like the much more apparent impression that this is a black speaker. Um, it could be, it could be a white speaker, um... I said this guy sounds black, black, right? Like, I know for sure this is black. Um, so in the beginning, though, he was like, ain't nobody, da, 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 da. like, that's just something that a lot of us, like, say. How he said it is, like, basically how I would say it as yeah. well. I just can't explain it, but, like, I feel like there's, like, a certain kind of 
accent that's like presented. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's it's similar to the southern style, but it's not quite yeah, the southern different. style. There's a certain there's a slight difference in the exact words being emphasized. And luckily, everybody seemed to be on the same page that you know the notion of sounding black is kind of messed up and problematic. It's a harmful standard based on stereotypes. But AAE is still a thing that exists and is distinct and important and, most importantly, for the sake of this exercise, recognizable. No one can really tell if a person is black or not based on the way that they speak, of course. We all know that. But you can definitely tell if somebody's speaking African American English. Um, that's about it.